So you wonder how I create the pan and zoom effect uh, even in the Blender video editor? It's pretty easy then. So let's just use some feature that you never thought of you can use. So this is HTTP first and then add a movie. Let's start with adding an image first. I'll use the share in the room photo. I guess or maybe some of them might test. Let's keep turning on backdrop so we know what you're doing. And extend this over our uh, 250 frames. Okay. You, you can still use the add effect strip uh, transform, but this time we're gonna use the special transform strip, it's especially for my add on, which enables you to easily move itself. So let's see. Trans add a transformer. You add a transformer. Then I'll turn this view because this is kind of good. So, yeah, you have the effect strip with position and scale, right? You, you can see this as just a uh, usual, usual slider valve, right? That you can to adjust things. But you also have keyframes here. Which is really cool, right? You have keyframes and positions, and that is exactly how you do a pan and zoom in this environment. So, we can. Uh, essentially GRS this. So let's zoom in on the ladder first. For the first frame, so we we'll scale up. Grab and drag it over to the ladder. Then uh we'll keyframe everything. We won't probably we probably won't rotate it here, so use insert keyframe position and scale. Then we'll do turn yellow, it means that you have inserted some keyframes. We get locked here for the intro duration of the animation, but you don't know what like one, right? Okay, so go down, down to say second one. Say the first second, frame 30 as you call it, maybe it's frame 44, because it's 24 if you ask here. You grab it again, you click your grab it again, and move it down. Here. So, and here you can create a new keyframe and a position that also scales. So you have this position locked for you, so you need to scale the player animation. Great! Now we have nice scroll. That's nice scroll. Now, what do we do for the point second? Let's scale. Let's scale down. Let's scale down so we see the entire bed stuff. So here you know. Uh scale down a bit. Like that. And grab it around. Now here for a second second and we lock it using a keyframe. Lock it. Now here is our animation. Yep. Yep. And for the first second, let's go over there. So you just grab so you just click here, grab it. Go over here. And I think we should scale down a little bit too. Grab it again and again. Scale down a bit, and soon after we have our perfect configuration. Then we lock it using keyframes. Lock keyframes. Now, what do we do for second four? We have around nine seconds to animate here. So at second four. Of frame 96 let's go to a bet and zoom yet zoom out of it grab it so it doesn't fall off 
and lock it using key frames. Now on second five, we reset our frame. We need to zero, zero, and these are changed to so it shouldn't be zero, it should be one. And we lock it using keyframes. Now if you add something after you change the keyframe, say change this to zero or five, it won't really save. You you see a blink flame here. Blink frame here. It doesn't look good, right? This is because you forgot to change your keyframe. So you must replace keyframe if you are going to change something in a keyframe. And there you have nice animation. But for the sake of this piece of work, I'll leave the scales uniform at one. Form at one. Now where's our keyframe? Hmm. Interesting. I can't find the keyframe. Never mind, the thing got demolished. So for this we usually set it to zero, zero, one, and one. And lock them using key phrase. And that's basically it. Let's review animation and admire our work. <laughs> We have a bit of auto slipping, and I thought, I thought uh, the keyframe that really fucked things up is in second six. Somehow I guess we can see yellow blink. Okay, it's five plus five. We delete, we delete these keyframes because we don't want that. You weren't done yet. And set this to one again so it stops blinking. So it goes down here, up there, zoom out, and get up here. And that's basically it. But for mobile under tips, you can probably follow this channel, but. Yeah, we won't be publishing that much, and see ya again later. Thank you for listening.